Here we are again back for another video. This video we're going to be checking our assembled genomes for contaminants. Um, and I'd like to give a shout out to um, Jeff Chang and Alex from his lab for helping me um, learn about this program and telling me how to use it. So yeah, I appreciate their help on this, on this one. Um, okay, so the first thing you do, I don't know how to run this one on the cl cluster. I only know how to run this on my own personal machine. So um, what you do first is you go to the JGI Institute website and you're going to download BB Tools. And once you do that, um, you'll get uh, this uh, download folder that looks like this with all their different tools, which they have a lot of different tools. I've barely just dipped into what they can do, but um, this one's very simple and very easy to use. And the command for this one is, um, it's just uh, the path to the BB map, uh, to the BB tools folder. And then this is the command send sketch.sh. And then the only other thing you need is the path to your file, which we just have to change this up here. So we're going to run our scaffolds.organ OR8 FASTA file. And um, it's also a nice thing about this program, it runs really quickly, uh, within a few seconds. And you can also create plots with the data afterwards, um, which hopefully I'm going to be able to show, do that and show that in another video. But uh, essentially, here's the main thing we want to look for. It compares our genome to the S. Musiva reference genome. And compared to that genome, we have 0.22% contaminants. So that's pretty good. Um, I would say probably anything less than like five, three or five percent would be good. Um, so 0.22% is really good. It also gives you other statistics. Um, I'd have to look in the manual and see, but I, I think these are um, KMERS and um, other other things. Oh, the tax, tax ID of what it, what it thinks those contaminants match with. Um, but yeah, anyways, this was a super easy program once you download it and, uh, it's just that one line. So it is a great tool to look, to see if your genome is contaminated. All right.